Is this a sponsor? No, I wish. I won't show the label. <laughs> and, no then, and then water. <laughs> um, yeah, people would be like, this, uh, <laughs> this looks different on camera. This looks really good on camera. <laughs> yeah, they have no <laughs> idea. The magic behind the fucking... <laughs> scenes of everything i know yeah let's get cracked out oh, cheers. Yeah. cheers thanks for coming yeah thanks for having me matt lockwood everybody Woo! what up like your uh, human centipede poster. Uh, cool. Thanks. Matt painted that. And um, it's funny because that's very distracting during the podcast. A lot of people are like halfway through. Are they fucking? When I wanted the squirrel there, but he said that was too distracting. Yeah, but at least you know what that is. This is like, <laughs> it is something you got to figure out. It's yeah. also funny because it doesn't look like anyone's fucking except the people in the middle. The middle. Yeah, the, the one guy who's bent over. He's really getting it. The rest the is like. The lucky one. Yeah, he's the lucky one. That's a nice way of looking at it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's how I try to look at life, you know? Oh. Oh, I looked up. Uh, I was looking up your podcast earlier. You've been doing yours for a while. Yeah, we're at like uh, close to four years now. That's crazy. Yeah, it's a long time. So did you start... When did the podcast boom hit? Do you like it? Yeah, it's very... It's good. Blue raspberry is the best flavor, I think, of anything. I think so, too. That's yeah. why I gave you the good oh, one. thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we just were talking about this. It's. I don't think there's like a better flavor, and it's not even a real flavor. It's, yeah, it's blue. Just made up, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which is fucking incredible i mean it's just designed to be a good flavor I it looks good the color looks good yeah. tastes good yeah i mean we're big blue fans here we love blue <laughs> wait wait so we didn't when did the podcast boom start like were you in the beginning of it or were you like or like um I'm, to, I'm way after that's what made me insecure about ever starting one yeah i don't know like we didn't really take it seriously until covid because yeah. then it was like we have nothing else to do mm um but definitely after the boom i think yeah. i think the boom was like 10 years ago <laughs> that's what i, I mean think, i feel like it was longer way longer maybe you were like when it when people started making fun of it yeah like, yeah I got, everyone's got a podcast yeah that was very much like you get very discouraged from starting a podcast because yeah people think it looks lame but it's like it's fucking what we have to do you i know, know. i started it's mine silly to hate on it. so late that it was like no one is even shitting on it anymore because the shitting on it got old yeah well now we're coming <laughs> back around where it's all about clips and reels and yeah so now everyone that doesn't have one wishes they had one <laughs> but now they have to do a crowd work video <laughs> Losers. <laughs> Fucking idiots. <laughs> Lug your equipment around everywhere. <laughs> Must be fun. It literally is the worst thing about comedy these days. Yeah. I'm embarrassed. I've talked about this a bunch of like, I would a lot of the times like I would just bring it and then be so embarrassed by having to do that. I wouldn't even set up the camera. Yep. I've done that. I've like had my batteries been dead and I'm like, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> now i can just do comedy i don't forget the sd card and yeah. it is a big relief it's a relief you're pissed at yourself for doing that and then yeah. like well great it's like when people cancel plans you're like oh thank god <laughs> this is perfect this is all i've ever wanted it is my favorite thing i think besides eating probably like a really good food on the couch or in bed my number one favorite thing second favorite thing is when people cancel plans yeah and as long as it's not me yeah I always, I always like to go like, oh, man, I really wanted to <laughs> make them feel bad. But it is. Yeah. Just drag it out. <laughs> but, yeah, there's nothing better than staying home. It's the fucking – it's the greatest thing. I know. And then after the quarantine, we've all just gotten more accustomed yeah. to it. I'm ready for that to come back. I know. <laughs> right? I've been, like, trying to get sick and <laughs> – get other people sick i'm so sick of being outside man. i never get sick i got sick twice last month damn and it's doing like, your part i'm trying i'm yeah. trying i'm sorry i let you down i don't think i spread it enough. it's okay i mean it's like all the all the immunocompromised people are dead so we have to find like a new strain that'll kill <laughs> somebody else that's a really good point because now everyone like no one's scared of it anymore yeah. they got who it's gonna get yeah, we need something. Damn. Maybe like a natural disaster or something would be nice. Well, we know that the California natural disasters don't do shit. Yeah. Except so the big earthquake. That's true. It's coming. 
Do you ever go Hopefully. On, do you ever go on the earthquake ride at Universal Studios? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> the like, tram? Yeah. yeah. I love that shit. <laughs> That's my favorite ride. That was so fun back in the day. It's, I think it still is. I haven't been on it in a while. Um, yeah, I love shit like that. When my brother comes to town, he's two years younger than me, we will go on the bus tours around Hollywood. Oh, yeah. And you, you, you just kind of drink a little bit and you act like it's the most exciting thing you've ever done in your life. <laughs> And it's so fun <laughs> to see like a so house cute. Justin Bieber lived in for a year, <laughs> seven, seven years ago or whatever. You're like, this is the coolest thing yeah. I've ever seen. Stuff like that is fun, especially when you drink. I used to love guilty pleasure. People hate on it. I loved getting wasted at Disneyland. Oh, fun. I've never done that. It's That would be fun. I know. DL is kind of boring. It's like magical and it feels good. The mm-hmm. rides are, are lame. That's why you have to go to California Adventure. Okay, I've never been there. That's where all the big rides are and where they sell booze. Do they sell booze in Disneyland? Oh, in California Adventure. But not the regular one? Not the no. little kid one? Damn. Besides Star Wars Land now. Okay. But, yeah, I just like to be wasted around a bunch of little kids. And you're like, <laughs> really? Just do classy stuff like that. Yeah. It really gets me going. I mean, it's always fun to be drunk. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You know? Yeah. <laughs> My, uh, my therapist keeps, keeps telling me to quit drinking. And I'm like, really? Well, he just like he's like, do you think it'll be a good idea? And I'm like, no. <laughs> I took a month off in January. It was the saddest I've ever been. I oh was my like, god, drinking I did, keeps me happy. I did dry January too. Yeah, it's awful. It's so awful. Because I was like, I'll quit, and then I'll like, oh yeah, I'll be healthier, and I'll sleep better, and I'll be happier, and I was none of those things. <laughs> so I'm like, it's, it's drinking is obviously not the problem. <laughs> It's kind of the solution, to be honest. <laughs> if you think about it, if you really think about it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, dry January was rough. We try to take breaks just because, like, with, I don't know, with stand-up, uh, there's always yeah. free alcohol. and you're, It's, it's like, like built for alcoholics. Yeah. Or built to make you an alcoholic. It totally least. is. Yeah. That's why most comics are either sober or alcoholics. Yeah. <laughs> yeah there's, there's really no in-between. <laughs> That's what I'm striving for. I'm trying to reach this in-between that doesn't exist. Yeah. It's hard. But I also, like... I don't feel like drinking has ruined anything for me. Mm. Like I haven't like, you know, lost on anything or like screwed <laughs> any relationships up or anything because of drinking. So it's yeah. like, I don't, why would I quit? No, there's no need. All my friends I have are because we drink. Together. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to do it forever. <laughs> well, that's all the other problem. All the social things like yeah. say like when I did dry January, I was like, okay, I'm going to go all in and eat, be super healthy, do all these things at the yeah. same time. That takes out every single social activity that exists. Yeah. Yeah. It's impossible to hang out with people if you're sober, unless you're all sober. Yeah. And then what do you do? You vape? <laughs> you, like, sit around and look at each other? I don't know. It's so funny you said that. So I did a show last week for, like, I don't know the right verbiage, but, like, a sober house. Okay, yeah. And it was, like, packed. It was, like, 200 people. Yeah. And lights fully bright the whole time. And I was nervous at first and um, ended up being one of the best crowds I've ever Damn, performed right. in front of. Yeah. I think because, first of all, they're not going to be easily offended. Yeah. They, Were they like drug user sober people? They looked like Like it. hardcore yeah. sober? They look like they've seen shit. Yeah. Um, so not easily offended. Um, really excited to just laugh. And then since they were sober, they weren't drunk, so they were, like, fully paying attention. Yeah, yeah that is nice. <laughs> but this was the funny thing. Everyone, there was vape clouds of everywhere. Course, of course. They need something. <laughs> Every sober person you know is, has, like, something that they're still addicted to. Or yeah, you got to swap it out. But it's also, like, all the sober people I know aren't happy. <laughs> So I'm like it doesn't. It's not. It doesn't look good from that. Like I don't want to be on your side. I'm. Mm-hmm. We're both just unhappy. <laughs> I'm gonna be unhappy and have more fun. That's what I'm gonna do. So if you're listening, <laughs> get drunk. Get get <laughs> wasted. Have fun. This has alcohol in it, right? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna party. Hell yeah. We get fucked up on caffeine. Do you ever drink on your podcast? Um, not really. No, we do it at like noon. Yeah. So that on would a, be on a Monday. That's a bad aggressive. start that to the week. <laughs> I mean, there's limits there, <laughs> too. <laughs> we did, like, a night one, maybe. But. Yeah. I've done a few when I used to do some later. And it's just haywire. Yeah. You really can't Yeah, it gets silly. Yeah. <laughs> gets, I feel bad for the listeners. A few of them, I was like, should I even post these? Yeah. It's just two drunk girls chatting. Yeah, it's like, if you can keep it at a good level, but I feel like by, like, an hour. <laughs> an hour when you're just drinking and talking, yeah, it gets... Uh, <laughs> Like it's very silly. Matt was like, we should film a um, a power hour, like with like a sponsored liquor yeah. brand. So I'm like, 
you you want to get canceled? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have to edit it. Yeah, at least it was saying live. And I'm like, that is asking for getting in trouble. Yeah. A bunch of comedians wasted lives. But that's also like why people would watch, I think. They'd yeah. Tune in and see if you say anything. <laughs> it would go down. Yeah. Um, so I, did you think of a weekly wiener? I kind of have one, yeah. Okay. I'm so excited about mine and I'm really building it up. Hell yeah. But it was something that shouldn't have bugged me and I, that I can't stop thinking about. Yeah. And it's just, fuck, I hated it. It's, it's so dumb. So since I was sick, like, all last month, pretty much, I never got time, like, to build my strength back up for, weight, like, weightlifting and normal gym stuff. Sure. So I've been just taking classes. And uh, the people in the classes, first of all, I bitched about this a while ago. They come in late. They always come in. Oh, it's like group classes? Yeah. So I never do it. But because, yeah. like, I don't want to do my full workouts, I'm just trying to build my strength back up, which sucks when you get sick. You're so sure, behind on everything. <laughs> I've been in the gym twice this year, and it was I, both for comedy. Well, so. I just mean in general getting sick because you're behind yeah, on like yeah, like yeah. editing yeah, the podcast reels, everything. Yeah. You're like, I barely keep up week to week. So when you're sick, you're like, now I'm just fucked. Yeah, yeah, I feel that. So I'm at the gym, and these people come in late, which pisses me off because like you're just just distracting and rude and everything wrong. But that's besides the point. This um. I did a yoga class, which I was scared because, like, those people are like, that's their thing. Yeah. And I'm like, let's try. I held my own, and I was proud of myself for that, and I'm so inflexible. The teacher goes, if you're not able to keep your legs straight – oh, um, this is not the wiener either. This is just a bitch. Yeah. She goes, um, if you're not able to keep your legs straight, um, you need to do more yoga because the only animals that aren't supposed to do that are, like, in – like monkey or some, something something like that like yeah. talking shit i'm like fuck off yeah but then second okay this is a wiener i'm really fucking it up here there's this guy in the yoga class right behind me that was like they moan in yoga classes sure and it's just <laughs> yeah okay i mean it's like so it's it's so so obnoxious yeah they have to know they're doing it are you do you you don't like it because you're like getting turned on during yoga or you like i wish that was the issue you're just annoyed by it it was gross guys with gross moans and it sure. just <laughs> so loud it was i wasn't gonna try to do it but i don't it was like like uh, okay, okay. And then an hour long class, so she'd be like, yeah. "Okay, now downward dog." You get in a position, and then you hear right behind you, uh, "Yeah, that's awful." What the fuck? Do, the, do that shit at home. Oh my god! I'm like, this is not this. I get it that like, maybe this is a yoga thing. Let it out, or whatever. But like, my like inner like Larry David wanted to just uh, the last time he moaned, it wasn't loud enough. He probably didn't hear me. I went no. Out loud, I went, yeah. no. <laughs> I think in that instance, you just have to try to like out moan him. Oh my god! Get, you have to make him so annoyed with it that he'll stop. <laughs> and he's like, "Who is this bitch?" That's a great idea. And then it's either it becomes a competition or it's just over. You win. <laughs> and since yeah. yours aren't real, you can do it louder. <laughs> you solved it. Yeah. Do that <laughs> next time. I will. I, I also <laughs> do think it'd be fun to like go into a yoga class and moan like that. I think it'd be like. <laughs> It's so annoying, and because everyone's like peaceful and tranquil, like no one's gonna say <laughs> anything to you. I was like, am I? I always wonder in those situations, am I the only one that's like annoyed by this? No, for sure, no. Okay, but also like, I used to do yoga, um, like once a week, and I found this like dope beginner class, and so it was great. But I've gone to other classes, and it's all just people who like take themselves so serious, so serious, and they all suck. <laughs> <laughs> they all like suck as people. It's the same as like sober people. It's like just because you do this doesn't make you like a better person. Mm -hmm. Cool, you can stretch. <laughs> That's so sick. Good job. I'm glad you could reach your toes. I did a uh, hot yoga once, and I was like in a position on the ground with like my legs bent and everything, and the the what she called? I almost said waitress. The, <laughs> the fucking the instructor. The instructor. <laughs> she like bent down to me and whispered in my ear. She goes, "Are you okay?" <laughs> I was like, "Yeah." <laughs> I was like, how no bad way. does this look that you fucking... She didn't like want to embarrass me, but I was like, bitch. Are you okay? Yeah, if it hurts, I'll get out of the position. I'm okay. You're just stuck so in rude. it. So rude. 
<laughs> yeah, I literally can't get out. I'm like twisting myself up, just that's sweaty. That's what I'm saying. The instructors are also very pretentious. Yeah. If you can't straighten your legs to me, are you, then you have a problem. Yeah. And then do you, are you okay? Yeah. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I almost kicked her ass. I wanted to. I want to be like, oh, you think you're better than me? Yeah. I mean, I'll hit you. Oh, another thing the instructors do. Did they ever do this where they get into like an insane pose? Like pretty much yeah. on their fingers and then they go, okay, now next, just go on your fingers and put your legs straight to the sky. Yeah. Well, that's, <laughs> that's what I liked about the beginner one is because she would be like, let's do this. And mm-hmm. what this is, is this. And you should feel it here. And if you can't do it, here's like, she would like walk you through every level of, because the last one I did was like this lady who would just say a pose and then expects you to know it. And I'm like, <laughs> I, I don't, I didn't do like the homework. I didn't memorize what they're all called. <laughs> Flashcards down the Yeah, I'm like dog. looking. Because then you just have to look at everyone else and try to like figure out what they're doing. And by then they're they're already calling a new pose and it's just like, this sucks. It's hard. Yeah. Or when you're when you don't <laughs> and you think you're doing it right, and then you realize you're the only person facing the opposite <laughs> yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. You open your eyes and everyone's <laughs> staring at you. I've done that a bunch. This last one too, she was a lady who was like, Welcome to yoga class in this class. We don't fucking care. And, and she's like, and yeah, I'll say that. And I'm like, yeah, dog, you're like 40. You can say fuck. It's not like cool to say fuck anymore. <laughs> she was so lame. <laughs> That's so funny. That's like the new self-help books. Like the yeah, subtle yeah. art of giving a fuck. Yeah, they're so, they're so real. <laughs> like, shut up. We all swear. We've all been swearing forever. Oh, man. It's the worst. Just, just trying to be cool is all it is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh, that's funny. There was this other instructor. I haven't done a spin class in forever. I've never liked them. I, I want to like them. Yeah. I don't. Um, but this instructor, he, I hated him. And he's, the whole time I've been at this gym, it's always still him. And I l- look at like the classes. He would be on his little fucking bike <laughs> and say stuff like, you're so happy. You should be so happy to be alive. Some people are dead. So blah, blah, blah. Like spitting like depressing facts. Yeah. And I'm like, this is not, this is 78% of all (laughs) veterans commit suicide. (laughs) What? I'm just trying to exercise, dog. That's crazy. (laughs) That is exactly what it was like. Well, it's also like exercising is miserable. Like, I'll feel better afterwards, sure, but like, let's not try to feel good now. No. Make me angry and let me get through it and like (laughs) mad. That's what I like to do. Yeah. Once I like shower and lay down, I'm like, oh, that was nice. (laughs) But until then, just let me be miserable. Just let me be mad. (laughs) Life sucks. It's not worth living. (laughs) That's not the time to try to be happy. (laughs) It's not. (laughs) 78% of veterans. (laughs) It's like, is that supposed to motivate me? I'm going to join them in a minute. <laughs> Everyone's crying or killing themselves. <laughs> yeah. Is this what you wanted, motherfucker? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exercise people are so weird to me. Oh, I, I actually got in the CrossFit cult for a few years. Damn. I was in deep. You really spent- Lifting them tires and shit? All of that, and you buy all the accessories. It's like a all the yeah. cult things that you do. You only hang out with each other. Yeah. It was bad. Yeah, is that still like a popular thing, or did everyone kind of find out about it? I think it's like everyone's like faded off. Yeah. Because I never really hear about it. Realize how much of a cult it was. Yeah. And everyone probably just got hurt. I got hurt and that's why I quit. Yeah. So I'm sure like yeah, just tons go to the gym. of people. Yeah, you don't need that. I also just love talking shit about exercising <laughs> as a fat guy. It's like, yeah. I'll come up with any excuse to not <laughs> exercise. Oh man. Uh so what was your wiener? You have you kind of have one? Yeah, I, I went to a wedding this weekend out of town and um I'll provide a little context. I'm on, it's my, some of my friends who now live in Austin, um, but I've known them for a very long time, getting married in Baltimore. Okay. And I'm in the wedding party and I'm landing on Thursday. The rehearsal dinner is Friday. The wedding is Saturday. We all get in on Thursday. I'm on the airplane texting one of the other guys like, hey, I'm landing like half an hour before you. I'll just wait at the airport. Let me know when you land. Mm -hmm. And he said, "Um, nobody, (laughs) nobody told you. I said, what? He said. They canceled the rehearsal dinner. <laughs> We're all flying in tomorrow. <laughs> I'm on the airplane. I'm halfway. I'm three hours into this five-hour flight. And I was like, all right, do we still have the Airbnb? And he's like, no, we rescheduled it till tomorrow. <laughs> I was like, okay, so I, I'm going to land and not have a ride or a place to stay. And he's like, yeah, you know. So fi- I found a hotel, whatever. But um, 
I was out. It's it's like the <laughs> hotel next to the airport in Baltimore, and I went to the bar, and there's, I think, eight of us, and the bartender is like this probably fifty year old lady who is stressed beyond belief. <laughs> she cannot handle that there's eight people drinking. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like complaining to us about how hard her job is. Oh, I hate when that she, she's happens. like management won't help us. I, I don't. I, there's nothing I can do. And I'm like, oh. Oh, just it's eight beers. You can pour eight beers. <laughs> mm-hmm. I was like, I, I'll pour it if you want me to help. <laughs> just give but, it to me for free. <laughs> but I had nowhere to go. I didn't have a car. I'm stuck in this hotel. And so I'm like, the only thing I'm going to do is go to the bar. Yeah. And for three hours, it was she was just like she was stressed. It wasn't like a moment of stress. And then things calmed mm. down. It was. <laughs> the most miserable experience I've ever had sitting at a bar. <laughs> she's just complaining and like, you know, a beer would be done and she'd ask you and then would like go and get flustered. She'd ask somebody else and then that would confuse her and she'd forget what you got and then would come back and like, you'd, you'd order three times and it took 15 minutes to get a beer. And it's like, <laughs> there's literally, there's not that many people here, dog. And this is a bar. You can see where and, the beer is, where yeah. she is. And we're not like asking for like cocktails. Like it got <laughs> to the point where we're all just like looking at each other like, uh-huh. Do we just go buy beer from the liquor store and <laughs> let's go to somebody's room and just hang out there, I guess. I don't know. But it's so funny where I'm just like, th- this job is not that hard. No. I- I've seen bars where it's hard to be a bartender. That is not. That's not one. <laughs> I feel so bad, too. Like, you have the, you're stuck there. You finally get there and you're yeah. like, all right, let's just relax and have some beers. And then that sucks. It definitely gave me, like, less empathy for her to be in my own situation and be like, I need this. <laughs> I don't have anywhere else to go. Oh, wait, so how did you get left out? I don't know. They were just like, oh, yeah, we forgot to tell you. <laughs> it's like, oh, cool. Oh, my God. Being yeah. on the plane, too, yeah. is so I'm funny. I'm so helpless because I also don't have Wi-Fi. <laughs> so I'm like, I have to wait to land to book a hotel. Oh. Yeah, it was crazy. I, I was uh, <laughs> I was like, I'm in the wedding party. <laughs> How do you not tell me this stuff? <laughs> and, and it's not like I haven't talked to them in a while. I've been I talked to them a lot. They're my friends. <laughs> they just didn't mention it. I'm like, all right. Damn. So silly. That sucks. Yeah. I just had a shitty hotel experience. Uh, we were doing hyenas in Texas. Yeah. And uh, we stayed at a La Quinta. And La Quinta. La Quinta. Oh, I thought it was La Quinta. No, if you're white, it's La Quinta. <laughs> Oh man, so white. La quinta. La quinta. And it was so bad. We were leaving we were leaving the um we were in our Uber to the hotel and he goes, Matt Matt booked it and he was like, Oh, the reviews on this page like worse than the other page and then I got on Yelp and I was like, We're fucked. Yeah. And then we got there and it was just like it wasn't a nice neighborhood. It's weird how like it could be a nice neighborhood. What city? Uh, we stayed in Dallas. Okay. And, but there's just like, just the motel next to the Denny's is just shit. And then all around it. Well, that's your first mistake. That's what I said. I said, never book something next to a Denny's. Yeah, that's tough. That's (laughs) such a big risk. It was the, it's the biggest red flag you can get. Yeah. Yeah. It's up there. So then we, uh, and it's like on the freeway. So we have them change us to a back room. So it's not like as loud. Mm Mm-hmm. And we were like, you know what? Whatever. This is fine. We'll deal. At least it's cleanish. It could be worse. Mm-hmm. Then at like two in the morning, uh, and it was a was that a Wednesday night, two in the morning. Then people next to us start like hardcore fighting. Mm. Like I'm like, there's bullets are about to come flying yeah, through. Like money, child support, yeah. like all this crazy shit. Yeah. <laughs> damn. So yeah, that's not fun at all. No. I also, um, I was like, oh, you know, it'll be nice to like be in a hotel. I can relax. Um, I love a pool. Mm-hmm. I was like, let me go to the pool, sit in the hot tub. I go down to the pool. There's no hot tub. I start to get in the pool. Genuinely, <laughs> 45 degrees. <laughs> I was like, what is this place, dog? How? It's not. It's so hot outside, too. Yeah. Well, it's an indoor pool. Oh, okay. Um, so the air was cold and also the water was cold. Perfect. So relaxing. I, I got up to like less than my knee and I was like, this fucking place sucks. I'll go get drunk at the bar. And then the bar sucked. Yeah. Was the wedding good at least? The wedding was great. Yeah, it was very fun. <laughs> it was, it was, yeah, it made it all worth it, I guess. That's good. Yeah. You, you seem like you were very optimistic about the whole <laughs> yeah. first day. Well, I mean, anything that happens after that, I'm like, the wedding could be pretty bad and still be better than... <laughs> 
<laughs> that full day in fucking Baltimore. <laughs> Definitely started it off rough. I feel like traveling with comedy too. I'm sure it prepped you for being alone, just on you know, oh, a hotel sure. and everything. Yeah. Like this is just another. Yeah, pretty used to it by this point. But have you stayed in some pretty shitty hotels? Or have you gotten lucky? Um. Yeah, I wouldn't say like pretty shitty ones. No. That's good. Yeah. Not like that. We stayed in one just shitty one besides this one, and besides that, it was good. But this was the one that the the comedy venue put you up at. Yeah. That's connected to the club. Yeah. And it was so bad. It's tough when those are bad. It's like, yeah, you have to take care of your people a little better than that. <laughs> I know. That's crazy. Uh, I did once do a date with, um, you know, Lara Bites. Yeah. We did uh, San Diego together, and they booked a uh, single room, single bed for the <laughs> both of us. <laughs> and uh, we were like, well, that's not happening, so we'll just get another hotel room. And they're like, we're booked. Oh, no. And then, like, you know, we're kind of looking at hotels and everything. We're, it's, we're in San Diego, so everything is crazy expensive. It's we're so in, expensive Not even San Diego. There. We're in La Jolla, which is the expensive part of San Diego. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> so then I'm, I'm like, well, what do we do? <laughs> and so we got, like, a rollaway cot. As I are going to say. And for the weekend, I slept on a, a roller cot that was shorter than me <laughs> and I think skinnier than me. <laughs> and every night we would go to bed with her, like, taking a video laughing at <laughs> how giant i looked on this tiny cop oh that my was god miserable. that's bad yeah that's really bad also because you probably were so miserable the next days yeah like you don't you don't sleep at all and yeah it's <laughs> fucking awful damn not being able to sleep sucks it sucks it's the worst so feeling. bad that was so cranky the day after those neighbors were fighting because yeah. i was terrified my heart was i felt like such a pussy my heart was racing so bad yeah couldn't sleep after i woke up the next morning uh, and I was like, I think I slept two hours. And I was just like, motherfuckers. <laughs> I, um, I had a, coming back from the wedding, my flight was at like 6 a.m. Mm. The day after the wedding. Damn. And we, we were like drinking till like three. So I was like, I'm not going to go to bed for an hour. Mm -hmm. I'll just go to the airport. And on my flight, I was like the only person in my row. There's only like 20 of us on the flight for some reason. And to not be able to lay down when you like <laughs> should, like you see space to mm -hmm. lay down. But you can't like. I don't know. I can't lay down on an airplane. I feel like I'm too big <laughs> to do right to fit across three seats. And I don't know what the etiquette is, but I was like, this is torturous to like yeah. see all this room and then still be like sitting straight up. <laughs> so tired. You didn't fall asleep at all. I did, but just sitting up, which yeah. is like when you're, when you're like, you can, you can sleep sitting up if you like are <laughs> taking a nap, but when you're coming off of not sleeping at all mm. the night before, it's like, man, you just want to lay down. <laughs> it's torture. We flew out at 6 a.m. too from Dallas last week. Damn. It's never been so excited to leave a hotel. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that's like a nice thing when you're like, <laughs> want to get out of there, then you could go at 6 a.m. Yeah, I was like, I will sleep better on this plane. For sure. Let's go. For sure. Please. Damn. Yeah, I love a good <laughs> hotel flight, though. That's always fun. Oh, yeah, they were getting it. She's like, you. And then, yeah, she started talking about, like, you can. Like him hitting her and stuff like that, and Damn. I'm like, oh, "What are we about to hear?" Yeah, I'm like, you guys didn't bang on the wall. <laughs> you know, try to draw attention. The next to day, that's what we said. He was like, "We should have been like, shut up." <laughs> like, yeah, right. Yeah, not a chance. <laughs> I was like, "I'm not here. No one knows I'm here." Because then they're gonna team up and turn their anger onto you. And oh it's like, yeah, that's so true. You can't bring them together. No, I mean. I don't want to take one for the team. Yeah. For, for yeah, them. Fuck that. <laughs> Hell no. I don't love love that much. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Messed up. Uh, yeah, no, that was, that was. I guess that's a few wieners. We got Wiener Town. Lots of wieners. Uh, lots of out of town wieners. Lots of out of town wieners. You think LA is bad? Everyone talks shit about LA, and I'm like, everywhere is the same in a sense. Yeah, I mean, we're better than everywhere else. <laughs> people who talk shit about la are losers there you go <laughs> i mean unless you live in like you know one of the five big cities in the world don't talk shit about us yeah leave us alone uh, you know we give you literally everything you, you have <laughs> yeah you'd be so bored without us it's like us in china don't touch us <laughs> we're the two great superpowers it is true you like tv have you heard of it yeah literally every in if you you can like the island boys and you can like fucking uh what's his name uh <laughs> god damn it who did Cit citizen kane 
Like every everything in between was all made in Hollywood, right? <laughs> the Island Boys strangely are from my hometown. Are they? <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. You're Florida, right? Yeah. Yeah. They're very Florida. Where are you from? Michigan. Michigan. The Florida of the Midwest. <laughs> so your brother's probably happy when he comes out here. No, he's a country boy. Oh. Yeah. He's good there. Yeah. He uh, prefers it there. He likes woods and like broken down cars and stuff. <laughs> That's his favorite thing. A Does car he that doesn't them? work. He, yeah, he tries. He just, co- or just collects them. <laughs> he probably, like, at any given time, owns, like, four or five cars and can <laughs> usually drive one or two of them. All right. And every time I go back, it's a different four or five cars. <laughs> it's uh, crazy. I don't know. I mean, it's probably, I could see how that could be something you get into because they're probably dirt cheap to buy. Oh, yeah. And you're like, oh, perfect. I can really make this baby shine yeah. and then you work on it for a little bit and you're like fuck this i don't want this car anymore and you sell it for like a hundred dollars more than you bought it for not worth it yeah that's like me with books i love getting books mm. start them never finish them Damn. yeah i also just have a bunch of books you do too yeah i've never read <laughs> i just got a kindle I, I haven't used it i think it's still in my car in a box that's <laughs> so funny i've been looking up kindles yeah and i'm like you it can- doesn't help you read yeah <laughs> I'm like, it'd be nice on the road because it's so small and compact. Yeah. But, but you know what's even more small and compact? Your phone. So And you know true. what has more stuff on it? Your phone. <laughs> My phone's huge, too. It's pretty much like the size of a Kindle. Yeah. I've got the Pro, so it's like... But the thing about your phone is it also has like social media apps and the oh, internet. Yeah. And You're not going to read on that. Yeah, not a chance. No, YouTube, screwed. Yeah. Totally screwed. Reading is like barely top 50 form of entertainment. <laughs> it's crazy. I'll keep trying though. Yeah. It's yeah. so funny you just got a Kindle. You always have to keep trying. You always have to say that you. You always have to like convince yourself you're trying to read. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, you like fall into being a bad person. <laughs> <I think. laughs> when Harper Rose in my podcast, we were like, we're gonna start this book, be accountable for it together, and finish it. So we made it two chapters with like c- catching up. Like, okay, we're we're good, yeah. and then done. Nope, nothing. Done. I like I like be like man I'm gonna get, set a morning routine where I'll read, <laughs> and then I'm like nah morning kind of sucks I'll do how about I do a night routine where I read and mm-hmm. I'm like I don't do any of that. <laughs> do Ever. you do you sit down and write stand up? No, no I uh, I used to like try and it would drive me insane. Yeah, yeah I, I, it's mostly um, like my podcast. Yeah, you like you rip it material. out there. Yeah. yeah, it's smart. Or like you know, po- ideas pop in your head, or you like see something, and then I'll run it on the podcast and be like, you can kind of get a feel of whether or not it can be a joke. That is the best way to do it. Yeah. I feel like most people, I maybe I don't know what. Do you think it's like a fifty fifty split? Or um, think, between like writers and people who write on stage and off stage. Yeah, I've always seen comedy as like it's, um, for some people it's an art, and for some people it's a craft. Mm-hmm. Like, some people I know are like, you're not funny, but you know how to write a joke. Yeah. And then some people are just funny, and they have no idea how to write a joke. And, <laughs> and some people can do both, and most people can do neither. But it is like, yeah, I think it's, there's like, people who who see it as like math, where it's like this plus this will get a laugh. And then some people see it as art, where you can just kind of <laughs> say whatever you want to do, whatever you want. Yeah, for sure. I feel like, yeah, more people than none lately are don't really that I have friends that don't really sit down and write. Yeah. I try to. I like to. Yeah. But it's another one of those things like, I'm going to, you know what? I'm like a morning writing person. Yeah. <laughs> and then you're like. <laughs> you try to set a routine. And it's like, yeah. Oh, maybe like nighttime, like before shows. Well, I also think that you could probably like, if you're disciplined and it can get good at knowing how to do it. And it probably would help everybody to sit down and write, but. Yeah. Podcast is a good way. Got time for that. <laughs> you guys, we have lives. <laughs> we have books to not read yeah, here. I have to look at a book. <laughs> I have to look at a book and make the decision to not pick it up and then instead pull out my computer and watch YouTube videos. Oh, I about mean. About abandoned malls. <laughs> Do you hear that malls are going to shut down? I think they kind of have been, right? Yeah. They, they're so they're going to be no malls one yeah, day. Yeah. Yeah. That'll be so weird. Yeah. I, I mean, going to the mall was fun as a kid. Oh my god! Like yeah. middle school, high school. That's what you went and you went to the movies on Friday night. Yeah. And then the food mall court. food court. You'd watch your friends buy stuff from Abercrombie. <laughs> hmm. I couldn't afford that. Triggering. Yeah, I couldn't either. <laughs> I went to. I think I mostly shopped in those days. I walked into all the stores, 
I'd get the Hollister jeans when they were on sale, but mostly JC Penney's, baby. Sure. sure. <laughs> I was like Old Navy and I was so embarrassed about it. <laughs> my mom was like, it's the only place we can go. And went Marshalls. Oh, but, yeah. But Marshalls was also like black people t shirts. And so I would be like <laughs> wearing Fubu to middle school. I'm like, I don't Looking back, I don't know if that's okay. That's really funny. <laughs> yeah. A lot of like big South Pole t shirts and shit. It's like. <laughs> Why is, why is my sweatshirt fuzzy, man? Uh, I feel like the white dudes in my middle school that wore those shirts all wore the same, like, they all wore the same cologne. Sure. There's this, like, scent. Of course, I can't explain it. Yeah. But there was a scent that they all had. Is that weird? Do you know? No, it, it's <laughs> probably a fucking Abercrombie. It's probably, like, whatever they sold at that shit, or Hollister, or whatever. Yeah. No, it was a. It was not a preppy scent. Uh, it was, like, a... Axe? Like, Maybe it was like an axe. I don't know. It's probably axe. But that's I like when you walk by people that have like a smell and you're like, oh my god, that reminds me of like yeah. <laughs> Them Florida boys are weird too. Oh my god, yeah, yeah, they are. <laughs> I love Florida people. It's a certain breed. I love it too. Everyone talks shit, but I mean, shows there are fun. Do you ever go there and do shows? Um, no, I have never done a show in Florida. They're fun. Yeah, I bet. They seem to have a good sense of humor. Yeah, mostly. But, um, yeah, you guys are all fucking psychos and <laughs> unwell. I think it's not fair that we're just thrown in the news so much. Yeah. You know shit's happening everywhere. Yeah, but I, part of me thinks it's, like, because Florida is, like, a vacation land where it's, like, you know, people expect people from Alabama and Mississippi and, like, shitty parts of the country to act like that. Mm -hmm. People see you as, like, oh, it has Disneyland and it has the coast and Miami but you're still the South. You're still yeah. like meth and <laughs> bath salts. Isn't that what people do yeah, in Florida? That was the big news article. Two people ate faces after yeah. getting high on bath salts. Yeah, man. My ex was from Florida and I'll never, ever <laughs> date someone from Florida again. I'm that's, sure that's she liked rule. to drink, huh? Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Partier. Big rule. Well, I think Florida girls are fun. Yeah. Maybe you just... Did you say the N-word growing up? <laughs> Isn't that a big Florida thing? I didn't. I swear. But you um, know a lot of people that did. I know a lot of people who did yeah. and who still do. Yeah. And I'm like, you That's guys. That's part of your culture, man. I'm like, what are you doing? What part of Florida? Like, I'm. It's a nice part. I'm from like, I grew up in Fort Lauderdale and West okay. Palm Beach. Okay. So South Florida isn't. You're in like Central Florida. That's where like. I went to school crazy there. Crazy people are. Okay. In Central UCF? Florida. Yeah. Nice. Uh, not when the football team was good, yeah, but it was, it was still fun. Um, Shout out Kevin Smith. I don't know. Is that one of our players? Yeah. I just went to the tailgates. Uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's the way to do it. Do you watch football, like NFL? Yeah. I'm a Dolphins Big NFL fan. Guy. I, we won the last two games. Yeah. No one out here. I have a Miami Dolphins joke, and I have I only do it sometimes, but I do it when like football season's going. I'm like, are you guys excited NFL's back? And it's just crickets. Hmm. <laughs> like, yeah, it's not a big sports town here. We have two teams now. It's got to become yeah, one. One and a half. <laughs> it's, <you> uh, <laughs> it's, uh, I mean, we, like, this city is too, there's, it, we have too much going on. Mm. We don't have time to fucking watch sports. It is sports true. sports fans. That probably is what it is. It's crazy. I want to go to, uh, what is it? So, so far. So far. I want to go so I'm bad. Going in November. <sighs> what game? Lions, Chargers. Oh, yeah, Michigan. That'll yeah. be good. Splurge on tickets, too. It's going to be sick. That's what I was going to say. It's expensive. They're so yeah. expensive. Yeah. I have friends from Michigan flying in to come to the game. With that'll me. be fun. Yeah, it's going to be sick. Oh, that'll be worth it. I missed the, um, the, I missed the damn Dolphins play the Chargers Yeah, the it was first the first week. game, right? My brother yeah. went to that. Oh, man. Your Michigan brother? Do you have no, another brother? My brother-in-law. Oh. Um, who's L.A. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Chargers fan. Oh, man. He's probably happy. <sighs> Why? Did the Chargers win? No, I mean the, the, that the team's here. Oh, no, he became a Chargers fan when they moved. Oh, really? He's, he's, he's been a Chargers fan for like two years. I bought a Rams hat when the Rams moved here right yeah. away. And I was like, I could have a second team, right? And I felt like such a poser yeah. I've never worn. I've worn it like once, and I'm like, I can't betray my Dolphins like it's, that. It's hard if you're a real fan to root for somebody else. Feels wrong. Yeah. Like, you like could, I'll root for him on TV, but I yeah, I can never like wear yeah. someone else's stuff. It's it, cheating. It, no, I, I felt bad buying it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a loyalist. I, I should burn. I should burn the hat, and then I'll feel better. Yeah. 
uh, my best friend's a Lions fan. She flies up there sometimes just to go to the games, like Fun. once in a while. Why is she a Lions fan? She's from there. Oh, okay, but I mean her family's from there. Yeah, she's in Florida. All right, good old Lions. There's a lot of Michigan people in Florida. Really? Yeah. Oh, because they want to like. It's where all the like people retire to. Yeah, that like makes both sense. my grandparents had timeshares there. <laughs> timeshares. Yeah, Naples and Boca. No, it was much poorer than that. <laughs> Naples. I forget what the other one was called. Somewhere. Yeah. yeah. It was like a little trailer in a little trailer park. Mm-hmm. It's it was fun. a timeshare in Florida. Was, yeah. I love we had a little trailer on a like a lake neighborhood with a golf cart and it was the best. Yeah, that's up. fun. It was so much fun. I yeah. can see why all old people move there. Sure. How do old people deal with snow? <sighs> they move to Florida. <laughs> I mean, that's what they do. They would yeah. go for the winter and then come back. I don't know how they would genius. do it. I've seen snow only like once. Damn. Or twice. Fuck twice. snow. Yeah. Ta- I- it tastes good, but that's about it. <laughs> it's so cold. Yeah, I, I couldn't do it. I went from Florida to here. My body is like. Yeah. Tropical girl. Yeah. yeah. Can't deal with it. Or island girl. <laughs> Start, I'm surprised no one did that. I miss the island boys, man. <laughs> what happened to them? They got really desperate, and one of them, like, sucked the other one's dick on camera. Wait, are you serious? Yeah. No. W- wait, for real? Yeah, because they were, like, really famous for, like, you know, a month or something, and then started to fall off, and they had to start going crazier and crazier and crazier, and then it got to that. You're fucking I'm with s- me. I'm no, I'm dead serious. <laughs> and that's, that's the last I've heard of them. <laughs> Crazy. Poor guys. I still think you're kidding. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I was a big Island Boy fan. I loved them. They sucked each other. They were. Dick? I think just one sucked the other. Okay, yeah. I don't want to. I don't know the how other. they decided. <laughs> like they flipped a coin. Yeah, maybe, maybe. <laughs> or like one pulled seniority or something. Oh God, that's crazy. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, the things we do for clout, dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'd, I'd suck my brother's dick if it made me a millionaire. You know. Your brother's dick? You'd go blood. Yeah, well, that's what they are. They're brothers. They're like twins. I, I didn't know if they were just boys. Oh, if they're boys, it doesn't matter. But they're I'd suck my boy's dick for free. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying to do that for uh, a long time. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sometimes friends are like lame like that. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, come uh, on, man. We're hanging out. We're both horny. <laughs> we know each other so well. Yeah. It's not going to affect our friendship. No, I mean, do, do me a favor real quick. It's so funny. Oh, um, I just thought of something and I lost it. What was it? No. Some island boy. <laughs> I can't wait to look that up later. Yeah, it's fun. Oh, oh this is the weirdest thing. And then I want to go into the stand up jokes and stuff. But um, my friend, because I was talking about books, my friend was telling me this book to read that I'll start and not finish. And it's this book about have you heard of like people who have something called fake facial recognition yeah. where they can't recognize faces yeah. and Brad Pitt has it. Oh, I didn't know Brad Pitt had it. I didn't know this was a thing. Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. So people like I like, so if I had this issue, I would be able to look at you, not recognize your face, yeah. but recognize you by your scent and your clothing. Maybe, but I think I'd be like, Hey, I'm Matt Lockwood. And he'd be like, Oh, okay. <laughs> I think that's kind of all it takes. That's crazy to me. Yeah. I saw like this, um, to kind of like show what it felt like to those people, I there's this thing online where it's like showed people's faces upside down. Oh. And even really famous people, it's hard to recognize their faces upside down. And so you like look at that, and then it's like that's how these people feel. I have to look that up. Because it's like once you flip it, you're like, oh, obviously I recognize those people. Yeah. But yeah, when you just like I don't know, there's something wrong where they can't like decipher who it is. I didn't know this was a thing. So I wonder if you can like, it's kind of a waste if can you like tell someone's beautiful like if he's dated Jennifer Aniston and. Angelina Jolie, can he like see their beauty? You must be able to, just because it's like, not like you like can't see them. Yeah, you just don't recognize them. That freak me out. Yeah, yeah, that is kind of scary. I guess you just get used to it. Yeah, if you like think you're fucking your wife and then she's like, <laughs> "I'm Bill," and you're like, "God damn it, Bill again!" <laughs> you got me again. <laughs> 
It definitely would make it easy to cheat. Yeah. Yeah, he just Bella would just have to put on your wife's clothes and a little <laughs> her perfume and get in bed. And then... <laughs> or he's like, babe, I thought it was I thought it was you. I didn't know. How am I supposed to know it's not you? I can't tell who you are. <laughs> Bill keeps tricking me into fucking this. <laughs> god and also it would be kind of fun because i like purposely not purposely but like i don't know i meet a lot of people in my environment and Mm -hmm. i like it gets annoying trying to remember who everyone is and and i've gotten to the point now where i'm like not to be an asshole but i'm like instead of being like hey so good to see you Mm -hmm. i'm like hey man like how do we know each other again (laughs) Which, which kind of feels like bad sometimes if they take it bad but also like Okay, but now I can. This is our second time establishing, mm-hmm. um, you know, our relationship and how we know each other. So it's like, otherwise, I can just pretend to know you like everyone else does, and then we'll never be friends. That's true. But I I kind of have done the the opposite wrong way. Well, not in a fake way, like trying to pretend like I know you. Yeah. But what stopped me is I'd always inter- I always liked introducing myself to whoever's in the room. Try to be eye contact, polite, because I hate when people just like act yeah. like you don't exist. But I hate when you like go like, oh, I'm Mandy. And then they go, we've already met. Yeah. Oh, happens all the time. Yeah. So at least I try to like stop doing that and just but like. There's also a nice way to do that where you go, oh, actually, we, we did already meet at the blah, blah, blah. And they never kind of do that. I know. People are just like miserable and they want to be <laughs> angry. But like we meet as comics, especially we meet so many people all the time. So many. Like people. I'm not going to remember. There's like people I follow on Instagram that are like they I don't know who they are. Mm. They'll be like, hey, what's up, man? And I'm like, hey, you know, yeah. have we met? And they're like, yeah, you follow me on Instagram. I'm like, <laughs> okay. Have we met, Matt? Have I liked any of your posts, bitch? <laughs> Do I comment? That's yeah. how you know I know you. <laughs> yeah. Have I shared anything? <laughs> but yeah, that's always uncomfortable. And I try to I try to remember people, but it's, it's impossible. Yeah, it is. It genuinely I'm, is. I'm not good at that. So it'd be a nice excuse to have. Yeah. <laughs> facial blindness or whatever. I'd be like, sorry, I, don't, I just don't recognize anybody. Facial blindness is my, maybe that's correct. Yeah, maybe. I, don't I know. forgot what it was called. What'd you call it? Facial recognition? recognition. Sounds like a cool. Facial non-recognition. Yeah. Facial blindness, I think is the correct. If you're listening, I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, facial blindness, baby. Crazy shit. I'm glad I don't have that. Or the colorblind people that now have the glasses. Yeah. And they just start that's crying. That's not fair. They should be colorblind. <laughs> <laughs> it's like how uh, it's like how fucking you know they're all these blind people are like starting to see and deaf people are starting to hear. It's like no, you got to stay what you are, man. Oh, everyone what? wants to change, you yeah. know. It's like uh, I, you know, there's things about me I would like to change. I I'm six foot five, which is too tall. That is tall. But what are we gonna do? Shave a couple inches off? <laughs> Did you see the surgery? I just have to live my life like that. Yeah, these fucking guys getting taller. <laughs> they the surgery. Stolen valor. It's it's <laughs> it's it's getting uh fucking breast implants for men. Yeah. It's that's all it is. But they say it's like super dangerous. Yeah. I mean it'll get good eventually. Mm. Just like breast implants did. It's like they used to be bad and now you can't even tell sometimes. But. Very true. They have not figured it out. <laughs> they have not figured out ass implants yet though. No, they'll still look stupid. <laughs> they look so weird. But also the other funny thing about the guys getting taller is, <laughs> is they put like bones in your leg, <sighs> but your arms are the same. <laughs> So you just look like a fucking T-Rex, a little T-Rex boy walking around. I never thought about that. And being tall doesn't give you a better personality. That's very so true. That's You're still going to be short, <laughs> fucking losers. And then eventually your legs are going to give out, and then you'll be yeah, totally you'll be fucked. Done. You'll be in a wheelchair. You remember that test when you were a kid where you put your arms out and measure it and your legs out? Yeah. Or your height and then your arms? Yeah. It's the same length. See what your wingspan is? Yeah. Yeah, man, I hate short kings. <laughs> You're not kings. <laughs> it's a it's a funny thing to say to make them feel better. Yeah, I mean they came up with it, right? I, they had to have. Yeah. Unless or just like the women who date them. I was but. gonna say that's the only other person, but I really feel like. Yeah. I feel like a lot of short guys are very angry. Yeah, they have to be. <laughs> they overcompensate for everything. They like they have to act like they're bigger and and yeah, they let their emotions get the best of them. It's the Chihuahua effect. Yeah. And you just go, oh, that's cute. <laughs> oh, it's cute you're yelling. Uh, Keep that energy. The fucked up thing is, uh, oh, yeah, my friend Lisa, she was just on um, the podcast. And she, I forgot how tall she said she was. She's like six. Something. She's tall. Damn. 
and she doesn't care like the height of a guy but I think it's funny like my best friend Grace she's really short like five foot yeah and she would always date taller guys yeah and I'm like the short girls they have to be there for the short guys but they don't even want them <laughs> yeah, <they don't> <laughs> I, I really like short girls um like the last couple of girls I've dated have been like five three five two this is a which is a huge difference. difference but yeah the short king shouldn't have them <laughs> Go date a dog or something, you fucking weirdos. I, I, mean, hate, I hate short guys. That's the funniest thing. Oh, God. Yeah. Uh, Put a little car seat in the back for him. <laughs> well, you have to be careful. Like, if you ever, like, have a baby with a short girl, you might have a short king. Hell no. <laughs> I'm Dutch, and Dutch are, like... Um, anyone who's like even half Dutch is huge. Really? Our, our genes run strong. Yeah. If, you, right. if you ain't Dutch, you ain't much. Is what <laughs> <we say. laughs> I'm getting that tattooed across my chest. Have it on your long uh, legs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it could go all the way down. Oh, it's funny. Yeah. And even if they're not, um, I mean, they're not going to be short. Yeah. Even if they get half me, half my short wife, it would be It'd like still be a good height. Pretty regular. Did you feel forced? Did you ever play basketball or any tall things? I play basketball now. I try to play sports in high school, and I um, I try to play football, and it hurt. <laughs> so I joined the musical. <laughs> so I was a theater kid in, in high school. Oh, I love it. Yeah, but I, I was like, I don't know. It was a fun dynamic because I, I like hung out with the cool kids and was like kind of an athlete at heart mm -hmm. and so when i joined the musical i i still like brought that energy and i was like a, a kind of a bully yeah <laughs> you know <laughs> i still had to like show them that i was better than them yeah you have to let them know and they you know they can't say anything it's a fucking cool kid in the in the dressing <laughs> room what are they gonna do that's exactly how i felt i was telling i just had jesse on and i was telling her i was in i was like in the cool kid crowd and then also in band yeah i did band too you did band mm -hmm. too <laughs> what did you play i was a drummer yeah oh that's the cool one yeah yeah i couldn't play i couldn't let anything else like <laughs> bring me down you know uh, but yeah that was i was a what a, did you play clarinet the, close i played the nerdier clarinet saxophone the oboe oh it damn. was the nerdiest one that's ever out there yeah that's pretty nerdy <laughs> it's the nerdiest woodwind yes it is but yeah, i told her i like um i didn't let any of my friends know i was in band i hid it from everyone so i had like two separate How'd they lives. not know no one asked questions interesting in middle school it was normal but high school you were like yeah well, I was in like, I did band, but then my senior year, I was in like just marching band and the pep band. What's that? Pep band is like the band that plays at the basketball games. Okay, cool. So I'll, I would be on a drum set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the student section. So it was like, <laughs> that was sick. That was, I mean, the drumming is the coolest one. The rest of it's not cool. Yeah. But man, a lot of band nerds. Yeah. Look at us go. It's, uh, I don't know. It's also like fun to be like a nerd deep down. Yes. You know? But also, I've always really liked it. I liked being in all dynamics, like as I like all groups. Yeah, same. I mean, I think that probably helps with stand up. Like you have to relate to a lot of people. A lot of people. That's like one of the things that ugh, when I waited tables, glad I got out of that. Not yeah. everyone gets out. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Most people don't get Most out. Most people don't get out. But that's one thing. That, like each table, you would like kind of just mold to fit them. Sure. Yeah. And then I feel like on stage that also like helps yeah. all those things. Put a things. little face on and smile. And yeah. <laughs> personality mirroring. <laughs> yeah. Recognizing no one's faces. Yeah. <laughs> Not knowing what table you're at. <laughs> um, yeah. I also like won like a board game competitions in high school. What? Yeah. I was like a huge nerd, but I was, I was like, I don't know. I was too cool for anyone to like mock me about it. That's the best way to do it. Yeah, it was, pr it was pretty fun. <laughs> what board games? Uh, Settlers of Catan. Oh, yeah, that's a hard one. Back when it was like. Isn't it? I don't know how to play it. <laughs> it's, it's for little kids. <laughs> I am much higher on the ladder than that. Um, yeah, it was like back when it was like before people started playing it. Kind okay. Of. There was like, it was more of like a if you know, you know type thing, but not every, it wasn't like popular. Wow. Yeah. Who's the comedian that makes game, the board games? 
Um, the, Dave Waits' roommate. Yeah, Grant I know. That's all I know his name. I was gonna say Dave Waits, your roommate as Grant, well. Grant, Grant Lyon. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, he gets like he has like every board game ever. Yeah. And he gets some sent to him and shit. I know? went there. I went there once, and there's so many board yeah, games. Yeah, it's crazy. Did you see the garage? No. Oh. Just more board games. The, the garage is just board games. Oh my god. Yeah, it's crazy. If I ever go back there, I'll like if like, you see the board games in their living room, you're like, that's a lot of board games. That's what I saw. Doesn't touch the garage. Oh my god. It's crazy. <laughs> It's crazy. <laughs> it's sick, though. That is cool. Yeah, I went there for 4th of July, and we just, like, got drunk. And at the end of the night, he's, like, started pulling out all these games. And <laughs> we were just playing them. So fun. Did you Did you tell him? Did you tell him you won? He knows. <laughs> yeah. He knows. We've taught games before. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're, we're like a brotherhood. We stick together, you know? <laughs> that would be such a fun, like, random-ass community to, like, yeah. be involved in. Well, the issue is a lot of them are, like, nerds. Yeah. And so you have to find, like, the ones that can hang because nerds are fine but they're not fun to be around no they're like oh actually blah, blah, blah. Like, shut <laughs> up go fucking watch neil degrasse tyson <laughs> yeah i can only handle nerds to a certain extent yeah it doesn't really fit my fit my mold yeah anyone who like you know can't figure out how to shave <laughs> their face and <laughs> can't unwrinkle their collar like buy a new t-shirt they're not that expensive <laughs> such stereotypes it, that are so it's, real it's okay to look nice <laughs> once in a while like try a little bit you know i think they are trying they're That's... not <laughs> and they're like I, we, we don't actually believe in looks it's like okay then fucking <laughs> be repulsed by society forever go play online <laughs> balding but... with a ponytail shut up oh no it's the worst ever yeah, they suck do you think it's weird like when we're really old we won't know who was attractive and who wasn't like when we're old, old. You don't think so? I mean, a little bit. There's some like old women. You're like, wow, she must have been like a ten. Yeah. But mostly. But our tastes obviously changed because when I was ten, I was like, I knew which girls were hot, and now yeah. I don't know what ten year olds are hot. You know what I mean? <laughs> Good so we, for you. We have to evolve. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, but we have to like evolve our tastes over time, right? I think you're right, and I just never really thought much into it. Because even well. I don't know. Even now, I'm like, I'm 32. And if I see like a 20 year old, I guess I know if she's hot, but I'm not like, oh, she's hot. I'm like, oh, she's like attractive for like a young. Yeah. Like, I, I guess you still know, but. I guess you're right. Our vision will change and we'll still be like, that is. But I've always been attracted to like 78 years. <laughs> Sexy. I just like pull that diaper to the side. Oh, oh my God. I'm a big diaper girl, too. I you got, wear diapers? I mean, I've worn them. I've been well, yeah, we all have. <laughs> <laughs> Most of us have. I wore pull ups to bed till I was like six. Did you? Yeah, I, I peed the bed. Oh my. So uh, I have an overactive bladder. That's why I said okay. I barely make it through my episodes. Yeah. Um, and you're not supposed to drink like coffee or any diuretics, and I live on coffee and energy drinks. Yeah. So I'm just only always diuretics. Pissed. Yeah. Only diuretics and beer, all mm -hmm. the best things. Um, so one time I had a boyfriend give me some depends. Actually, his mom gave me. It was my community. Were you wetting the bed? I when we would drink. It was my community college uh, boyfriend. Oh yeah. And um, Florida community college. Yeah, rock and roll man. Before UCF, got to get that AA. Hell yeah! <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> I uh, I kept peeing his bed, and his mom was getting so mad that she got me depends. I <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine like a girl pees the bed multiple times, and you're like. You, you're like this is the one still. Yeah, you know. I've got tons but of I guess jokes if you're about in, it. If you're in Florida Community College, you don't have a lot of options. I mean, it kind of matches. Yeah, it fits the it fits yeah, the expectation. Yeah, it checks out. <laughs> and the diaper. So I wore it. We wore it to bed one night. We were drunk, and I made him put on one too because I was like, I don't want to just wear it. I was so embarrassed. <laughs> yeah. And like uh, when your friend gets cancer and you also shave your shave head. Your, exactly. Yeah, it's very exactly nice. the same thing. <laughs> But the the, uh, the diaper didn't work because you pee so much. The bed you was just still soaked. soaked. Through it it soaked through it. I mean, what's That's up, crazy. man? That's crazy. Hell yeah. <laughs> so you bed water too. Oh yeah, big bed water. My, my my mom used to have this thing, this metal thing she would attach to the tip of my penis when I went to bed, <laughs> and if it got wet, it would beep really loud. What? So then everyone in the house would wake up every time I peed, but I would sleep through it. I didn't give a fuck. No way. Yeah. Be like, boop, boop, boop. <laughs> And then everyone would rush in and be like, Matt, go pee, go pee. I'm like, I already did. That's crazy. Yeah. I should get one. Just stick it all the way in. <laughs> yeah, you might be able to. I don't know. 
I can't believe that's a thing that exists. Yeah. I mean, it was the 90s. So it's it like, sounds so 90s. It's different. <laughs> yeah. Wait, are you 89? 90. Nine, I'm 90. Oh, yeah. I did my math wrong. We're like the same age. Pretty sick. 90s, baby. 90s, baby. Um, Man. You know, Sarah Silverman was a bedwetter. Yeah. And so was uh, Mark Norman. Hmm. Or young, like you, young, young bedwetters till older. Yeah. I think it definitely, I'm sure, helps steer you into the comedy direction. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I've done it as an adult, too. Really? Mostly drinking. Yeah. Related. Mine's only when I was, I'm was i drinking. I once was, um, we all went to my friend's house after a night out, and I slept in his roommate's bed and wet it. <laughs> Did you tell them? Um, I, I didn't tell his roommate, no. Yeah. I told him. <laughs> <laughs> not a, i'm not proud of it i mean i've been there yeah. sometimes it's what am i gonna do that guy's laundry i'm gonna go <laughs> home i'm 20 yeah it just sucks and then i had to steal a pair of his shorts too because i didn't have any pants to wear home and somebody uh, was sharing the bed with me which is funny no my best friend yeah <laughs> Mooch. <laughs> yeah the amount of pee that comes out from a bedwetting alcohol pee is so it's impressive crazy so much pee. Well, have you ever... I don't know if you guys are allowed to, but do you ever pee into a bottle? Um, I've tried. Yeah. I, I mean, I'll even like a Gatorade bottle, you pee and you're like... You fill it up before you're done. You're like, I didn't know that much pee came out every time I pee. Yeah. I guess I've done like a solo cup in the car. Classy move. Sure. Yeah. And little, but I need more. I need width. a wider brim. Yeah. For, I can't, a, a bottle would really be impressive. Yeah, it's nice. But yeah, it's a lot of pee. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, lucky for me, I can um, <laughs> fit into any... <laughs> almost any hole tiktok container or, uh... that's impressive see this is why i wish i was a guy <laughs> <laughs> so you can pee wherever you want i can pee wherever i want i also like being in the woods and being able to pee fucking rips i'll squat peeing, peeing outside is one of the best feelings ever as a dude i'm sure as a man yeah i mean I... you also like pee off into the you could pee off of cliffs <laughs> it's so sick uh mm. I don't. I got a um, go girl once as a gift. What is that? It's a funnel that gives you a penis. Okay. So it like the funnel like hooks under. Sure. And then it has a little pepe that gives you the hole. Yeah. Um, I tried it once at the um, the Halloween the West Hollywood Halloween parade. What is it called? Pride. I don't know. They do a Halloween parade. The Halloween, like on we in WeHo one. Okay. Because you can't get into any of the bathrooms, and I was like, I'm gonna be smart and bring my go girl. Yeah. Not thinking like, how the hell am I gonna like keep my pants on, tuck this thing in, and pee? Oh sure, yeah. But I was so drunk, I did it. Hell yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna get one of those. <laughs> the the scary thing though is if you get caught peeing in public, you're like a sex offender. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. How? I don't know. I mean, they should change the rule. It's fucking rude. Unless you're like peeing in front of people. Unless but if you're tucked into a corner peeing, let it, let me pee. Especially since, okay, I mean, maybe, yeah. If you're in like on a playground pissing on kids, sure. Yeah. But no place lets you go pee. Yeah. It's and like, some of us have to fucking pee, dog. <laughs> I used to pee the bed. That's how bad I had to pee. Yeah, let us pee. That, that would be the most ridiculous thing to get in trouble for. Yeah. Just have peeing. to go door to door and be like, keep your kids away from me. I peed outside once. <laughs> also, it's, I do feel like it's our responsibility as humans to like evolve past the need to pee and poop. That would be nice. What a waste of time it is. It, I spend so much time Same. peeing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she doesn't poop. Um, yeah, man. It's just like it, it interrupts things. Mm-hmm. It, it like if I'm if I'm watching a movie, I have to like now I'm thinking about peeing. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Oh, the window seat on an airplane, game over. Yeah, all I could think about is peeing. Yeah, that's a bad one. Yeah, you got to ask people to get up and mm -hmm. yeah, it's brutal. Road trips when all you want to do is drink like, a coffee on the drive. Yeah, that San Diego drive. Sometimes you can't make it. I I can't make it a few times. We had to stop, and I'm like, I just needed that Dunkin' Donuts because yeah. it's fun. <laughs> yeah, it just makes a drive so much more fun. Yeah, let's just figure that out. <sighs> Sew me up. <laughs> Yours can, would be a lot easier. I can like it, barf it, out a window. You know what I mean? That's true. Like if it all comes out one one hole, we can take care of that pretty easily. If you could choose, 
Would you trade it to just have to no pee or poop just for one barf, all of it out your mouth once a day? Once a day? Pee and poo, yeah. Yeah, once a day would be great. Yeah. I mean, does my mouth then taste and smell yes, like? Yes, definitely does. I got gum. <laughs> yeah, that. I mean, that you'd get used to it eventually. Yeah. Yeah, I would do that. <laughs> I think it would really inspire what we ate. Would it? I think. Do you? Or you think we just no, get past it, it too? Yeah, it's all poop. Yeah. I guess I don't know if different <laughs> if poop tastes different when you eat different foods. I'm sure it does a little bit. But it I always guess I don't know either. It always kind of smells the same, so it kind of always has to taste the same, right? There's only one way to find out. <laughs> Let's do it and report back. We'll be right back. <laughs> you, you and Harper will hold each other accountable for reading a book. Yeah, you Me and, and I. Me and you will hold each other accountable for tasting our poop. <laughs> Changing our diets and tasting our poop. I don't finish the book, but we do taste poop. <laughs> <laughs> I would do that before uh, reading the book, for sure. Yeah, it'd be a lot easier. Hell yeah. Um, okay, did you think of... Um, oh, man. Time's flying. Um, did you, is there any jokes, any moments in life that you made into a joke or didn't make into a joke you want to talk about? Yeah. I mean, like my old closer is like one of the most, I, I guess, I don't know if it's embarrassing. Yeah, it kind of is, but it's, <laughs> it's about when I was in the musical and oh, I love this. My senior year, we did beauty and the beast and I played the beast. Yeah. <laughs> but at the end they, you know, the beast turns into like a handsome man <laughs> my school just got a different guy to play what yeah they were like um oh my god they're like yeah we'll just get he can come in and then play the handsome prince what? i was like oh, oh yeah of course that makes sense I, it couldn't be me obviously that's wild yeah. no There's, way it's a it's a uh yeah, i'm kind of just doing my bit but it's it's a, a play with singing forks and knives and dressers and mops <laughs> And they were like, J listen, just what, like, the, uh, the suspension of disbelief <laughs> <laughs> to think of you as the handsome prince. Oh, my God. Yeah, pretty crazy. That's a great moment in life that you had to turn into something. I can't believe they had the audacity to do that. Yep. Damn. Yeah, and I had a crush on the girl who played Belle. Oh. And he got to kiss her. <gasps> no. But also the psychology of, oh, let's pick, like, a hotter <laughs> we're all like 16 17 18 they're like we'll pick the hottest boy like, oh okay. my god who was this guy who was this chump christian christian S tall soccer player oh god yeah i was wondering if he was going to be tall as well yeah yeah i'll well, get my revenge <laughs> i just can't believe a teacher actually like went to you and and said okay this is what we're gonna do yeah I don't know if they cleared it with me first. It kind of <laughs> just was like, yeah, this is a, uh, oh yeah. And then he'll just come in and play the handsome print. And <laughs> so, I was like, oh yeah, so man, oh, yeah of course. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what am I going to do? <laughs> They're like, you'll lay behind this fake rock <laughs> and make sure the audience can't see you. Like, okay. <laughs> You're just laying there watching him kiss her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The woman of my dreams. Uh, this, this guy who has done no singing, no dancing. <laughs> No memorizing. Sure, you take the glory. Oh, my God. That would never fly these days. Yeah. No way. Yeah, somebody's parents would like, yeah. <laughs> or, I, you know, I should have just shot up the school. <laughs> you take are a white business. dude. Yeah. That's our culture. <laughs> that's what we do. Oh, that's a really good one. Yeah. Tragedy. Oh, Pure man. tragedy. That's That's bad. I'm I'm trying to um I don't know how I want to talk about it, but I had a weird gynecology experience lately recently. Sure. I um I always go to a girl and it was my male regular doctor who's this like femboy and gay guy and he's so fun as a regular doctor. Um I don't think I've ever seen a gay doctor. I go to this like gay At least not one doctor's that I office in West Hollywood. It's like all gay. There's only gay doctors. Wild. Yeah, it's really fun. They like blast Madonna. There's like pictures of pop stars Whoa. all over. It is the gayest office. Do they? Is, are the outfits pretty gay? Like they wear. Are they like short? They they wear um 
like um, bikini bottoms. Cute. In, 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 yeah, banana. A- assless uh, scrubs. Cha- chaps. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I usually have the lady, and I go in. And Is she gay? I don't know. She'd be smart if she was. She's yeah. A gynecologist. Definitely. Yeah. Be perfect. No one would, like, care. Yeah. Um, but gay or not gay, I'd, I'd rather have a gay guy than a not gay guy. But he goes in, and I just, like, I just, first of all, I know you too well from being my regular doctor. I sure. don't want to mix. You can't know all of me. It's too much. Yeah. There has to be some secrets. Something. Yeah. <laughs> So when a guy doctor comes in to do your downstairs, there has to be a woman in the room. So now there's two people looking at my cooch. Why didn't the woman in the room just do it? I know. I that would be, I guess she does not. She's not qualified. Uh, so she's just there t- for to be there, which is I don't want that. Yeah. So he, I can just tell he's never done this before. I think. Damn. I don't know if she... The, like seen a pussy? <laughs> like seen a pussy, yeah. d- gone in there. Wild. So usually they just, for your pap smear, you get once a year, it's just a small, long, silver thing. Yeah, I've had one. Oh, yeah. Right in your dick hole. Yeah. And um, swab it in, swab it out, done. He, first of all, puts on a headlamp. Okay. He's wearing a headlamp. <laughs> like he's going on an expedition? Yes. <laughs> And I'm like, are you going mining? Like, what? <laughs> Why are you wearing a headlamp? Yeah. So right away, I'm uncomfortable. Um, he, like, ties himself into a <laughs> rope on the wall. <laughs> he wraps around his waist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's getting ready to go That's in. That's crazy, yeah. So I'm like, okay, maybe he can't see well. Can I, just to um, picture this in a way. Yeah. Is there, like, do they put a sheet up where he, like, can work and you don't look at him? Or are you watching him? It's your nothing. You're in your stirrups. Yeah. Nothing. And you, and you can see him just looking down into your... Nothing in the room. Just okay. full open room. Well, this... and some lady in the corner. Uh, yeah, some lady staring at me yeah. and, and him with his headlamp. Licking lamp. her lips. Yeah, she, she's, like, jacking off. Because <laughs> <laughs> she, she's a man as a woman. Yeah. Um, And so he... So then... He proceeds to get a clamp. Okay. He clamps my pussy open. Okay. So it's just stuck open, some torturous shit. Sure. And I'm like, he's like, this may hurt. There may be bleeding. I'm like, what is going on? There should be no bleeding. Yeah. No hurt. Yeah. This is a very quick procedure. <laughs> you fucking clockwork orange to your, your pussy. <laughs> So he, he goes, he does it, clamp and headlamp on, and he, I, that was that. Wild. I was like, and, and did it, it hurt? Was there bleeding? Yeah, there was bleeding. Whoa. And then the way he did it was so like, like he was learning, like reading a checklist. Okay, headlamp on, <laughs> clamp it open, because I I don't think he knows that it it it's not like closed shut, sure. like it's. Sure. I don't know if he knows how rape works. What if he like took out his scissors <laughs> and started to try to <laughs> cut a big hole in it? Oh, it was so weird. Yeah, that's uncomfortable. And the funniest thing, I've never finished this joke, but I've always tried writing a joke about like the gynecologist and not knowing if I should shave before. Mm. Overthinking that whole phase. Sure. And talking about how like, I wouldn't go to a guy doctor. And while I was like journaling these thoughts was w- the week I had this appointment. Yeah. And I was like, well, maybe this is more the way to go with it. Yeah. I just can't like, I don't know how I'll make it into a joke, but it was just such a weird, what the hell? Yeah. A headlamp was the weirdest part. <laughs> the headlamp is so funny. <laughs> It's so funny. <laughs> and you're so vulnerable. You can't, like, do yeah. anything. He puts on, like, a scuba mask and, like, a, <laughs> a little oxygen tank. <laughs> oh, my God. I feel like if I was a gynecologist, I would, like, you know, put their legs up and open up and just be like, <laughs> 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 just giggle every time. That would be the funniest <laughs> thing. Like, it's the first time I've ever seen a pussy. Uh, to oh. ever do. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Oh, God. Yeah, I never think of, like, how uncomfortable that is for you guys to always have to do that. I mean, that was... Usually, it's fine. Like, with the woman, it's in and out. Nothing yeah. weird. But that was levels on levels on levels of it just kept getting stranger. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. You got to do it. Yeah. Because <laughs> I, I, I have a woman doctor, but I don't think she's ever even seen... I don't think she's ever even seen inside my mouth. <laughs> 
<laughs> like I'll go and she'd be like, "Are you okay?" And I'm like, "Yeah." She's like, "All right." She does like blood pressure and STD tests, and that's it. Yeah, in and out. It's a fucking free doctor, Medi-Cal, so it's like yeah, she doesn't care. Been there. So with guys, it's just blood work, right? Yeah, that's all you have to do. Pretty much. Damn. I'm trying to get that fucking uh, colonoscopy. Oh yeah. I've been trying get to get one of those there. for a year. <laughs> man. Counting down the years. I've been like practicing on myself and I'm trying to <laughs> get used to it. Yeah, it's. Smart. I want to be able to tell the doctor, be like, "Hey, use the whole fist." <laughs> None of that pussy shit. <laughs> Stick that whole thing in there. Yeah, clamp it open. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Put your diving mask on. Get your headlamp on. Imagine, what would you do if you actually you went in for your co- uh, colonoscopy and you had a headlamp he, on? He's going spelunking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Doctor's visits suck. Yeah, they're awful. Uh, were there any other jokes you're working on? Or we can could, we could tap out. Um... No, the only thing I'm working on now is a joke about the N-word, which is always very funny. <laughs> oh, you can ask my Florida friends any advice you yeah. need. Well, it's just about how, like, it's not that I want to say it, but it is, like, I want credit for not saying it. Oh, yeah. That's fun. That's a fun I, angle. I have, like, a lot of my friends say it, <laughs> black or white, and um, a lot of, like, the music I listen to says it, you know, because I listen to country, and a lot of the... Uh, <laughs> Um, a lot of like the movies I watch say it. It's just, it's just like such a big part of culture now, and I have to actively not say it. And I like genuinely feel like a lot of my self control is being used on <laughs> not saying the n word. <laughs> and like I want to, I want to eat less. I want to exercise more. I want to read more. I have all this stuff I want to do, but like fifty percent of my time is just spent being like, don't say it, 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 because it isn't. It's in my head all the time. It's in a lot of people's heads. It's everywhere. Oh man, that's so. uh, that's good. I think that will be great. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's fun to start a joke out like that too and see if you can get away with it. That's my favorite yeah. thing. Get a little shovel out, dig a little hole, and then oh yeah, that's a good one. Climb out with the audience together. It's such a great angle on something like that. I watch. Um, big... That being said, I do say it a lot. So. <laughs> it's just a joke, you know. It's yeah. just a joke. I watch the show um, Big Brother. It's yeah. like my only reality show. Are you I watching like. the new one? Yeah. Are you With watching Sari? it? <gasps> no, I'm not watching it, but I love Sari. Yeah. I'm a Survivor guy. Oh yeah, it's just, she's she's doing great. Is her son still on too? Mm-hmm. Tight. Her son's an idiot. Uh, I believe it. But she's very smart. I have invited her to my birthday party a couple times via Instagram. Really? And she does not ever read it or respond. I want to watch her Survivor season. It was as good as they say. She, I mean, she's been on three. Oh wow! Yeah, she's one of the goats. I love her. Yeah, you can she's tell. She's one of my favorites. You can tell in this game, like she should have had a red flag from the beginning, and she's making her way mm. and cleaning up her son's mess. Yeah. And taking care of other people. Because nobody on the show knows it's her son, right? No. They're like acting like they yeah. don't know each other. That's so fun. <laughs> it's really fun. She was just on this other show, Villains, which like, was kind of just like a game. It's kind of Big Brother ish in okay. a way. I didn't know that. Um, yeah, and she smoked everybody. Did she win? Yeah. What? Like it wasn't even close. She's no just way. such a good game player. Yeah, that's why I love her. Um. So it was episode I think two or three of Ceres season. Yeah. And um, her son was in the room with these two other white dudes. So Ceres' son is black, and then two white dudes in a room. Beginning of the season, one white dude looked at is the other white dude and says. Good night, uh, N word. I don't know if it had an A or an E R in the end because they bleeped it. Yeah, probably an A, but and yeah, I I think so. Not. You yeah. don't know, yeah. But I'm assuming an A. And then Cerise's son was like, and the white dude, of course, was all. They were both like, what? And then the white dude leaves, and the white dude that said it was talking to Cerise's son and was like, <laughs> so funny how uncomfortable he just got. And was like, no one can like play around. Yeah. And then Sri Sun is like, yeah, man. <laughs> and he like tried playing it off like that wasn't just weird. Yeah. And then they kicked him off the show instantly. Good. Yeah. <laughs> instantly. What a wild thing to try to do. Especially because the season before, a guy got kicked off um, because it was a whole thing for a racist thing. And they called him Kyle KKK online. Uh, KKK Kyle. Yeah. KKK Kyle. And then the next season for a dude to just throw good night inward as they go in a fun way. Yeah. And then to try to be like, oh, look how uncomfortable he got. It's <laughs> so funny. It was the, I, I was just watching it like, did that really just happen? Yeah. 
I, I like love um, watching white people say the N-word. <laughs> and not in like I enjoy it, but like, like what do you think this is? Like, <laughs> what do you think you're getting away with? It's, I don't know. It's so funny to me. Yeah. Do you need it that bad? Yeah. Yeah. And like, and you know, there's no place in our culture, f- like where that'll be, unless you're like with your boys in a garage. <laughs> there's, uh, you're on TV, dog. Like, where do you think that's gonna? You think you're gonna be a hero? You think people are gonna be like, finally, someone said it? It's like, <laughs> no. It's so funny. It's so embarrassing that he just got kicked out right away for the. Yeah. That's so dumb. I like that they kicked him out. I know. <laughs> Fuck him. Oh. Fuck him. And then those two people in the room had to explain to the house what happened. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Which is also funny to watch because yeah. it's just so unreal. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> so, yeah. That's my reality TV. Oh, I have yeah. to watch three survivors. Yeah, watch them all. I'll let you know how she does in Big Brother. All right. I hope she wins. <laughs> I hope so. Shout out, Suri. Yeah. Answer my fucking DM. <laughs> I can't believe you invited her to a birthday party. I've invited her to all my birthday parties. <laughs> Isn't your birthday close to mine? It's June 7th. No, no, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> what is yours? October. Oh, yours is soon. October 1st. Oh, so she might be out of the house by then to come to your party. Yeah, no, she'll still be weeks. in there. Yeah. She'll still be in there. That's upsetting. Oh, uh, yeah. Maybe next one. Yeah. Well, is there anything you want to plug? Yeah, check out my podcast, Big Humble. Yeah. Come see me at the Comedy Store, Culture Court, last Thursday of every month, 7 Eleven's last Saturday of every month. All right, I'll put all the links below. Matt so Daddy Lockwood on Instagram. Yeah. Awesome. Thank yeah. you. Thanks for having me. All right, bye. <laughs>